The 2020 Australian Open rallying for relief, a charity aiming at helping those affected by the dangerous bushfires down under, went on this morning and it was a complete hit. The top players including Serena Williams, Kyla Wozniacki, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, Naomi Osaka, Petra Kvitova, Dominic Thiem, Coco Gauff, and Nick Kyrgios all participated in the lighthearted and heartwarming exhibition style event. The action began with Serena and Caroline headlighting two doubles teams appropriately called Team Williams and Team Wozniacki. Team Williams had Djokovic and Nadal pairing together to face Wozniacki, Tsitsipas, and Zverev. The former pairing won, but not before giving us one of the moments of the tournament already. Nadal gave the Serbian signals to serve down the tee, but quickly changed it to a middle finger which jokingly did not mean serve body. The very next point, Djokovic took a fun jab at Tsitsipas and Zverev, saying that they and their next gen contemporaries are too slow. I've never heard of this format before. <laughs> See? Next gen. Yeah, how slow they are. Uh, Unbelievable. Uh, Naomi Osaka subbed in Zverev at one point, and her plea of Steph to take the ass side so she wouldn't have to return team serve was so cute to the German. We need this point, Dominic. Oh, no, no, the, no, 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 it's your side. Come on. <laughs> oh, you guys are so on, cute. <laughs> Speaking of Osaka, she posted this nice picture on Twitter alongside Serena, captioning it, me and my mom. It's really nice to see that these two competitors, Serena and Naomi, are still relatively close, and it's clear that Osaka still regards the 73-time tour title holder as a role model, inspiration, and even a motherly figure. Other activities were a Feder Curious Exhibition single set in which Roger took, and an Arthur Ashe Kiss Day style target contest. The Rally for Relief was an immense success, raising a total of over $4.8 million from ticket sales and online donations. Additionally, in classic Fadal fashion, Rafa announced that he and Roger will together donate a total of $250,000 to the Australian Open bushfire cause. With these gestures, selfish would be the last word used to describe these two great champions, but Canadian Braden Schnorr called out the word numbers 1 and 3 for their lack of speaking out against playing in these harsh smoky conditions. He told the Australian Associated Press that calls for change have got to come from the top guys. Roger and Rafa are a little bit selfish at thinking about themselves and their careers. Because they're near the end and all they're thinking about is their legacy, they're not thinking about the sport itself and trying to do what's good for the sport. So these guys need to step it up. They're just trying to shove us on the court because we're qualifiers. Now you may be wondering, why attack these two and not add Djokovic into the mix? Schnorr probably left the world's number two out of the conversation because of his ATP Cup statements calling for the pushing back of the start of the tournament. My thoughts about Schnorr's statements are this. I do understand where he's coming from because the top players are being treated like kings while the qualifiers are expected to play in these adverse conditions. However, Come get Roger and Rafa wasn't the best thing to do because while they are two of the biggest players in the sport, you have to remember they are players themselves. You need to be looking at who is enabling this unfair treatment and that is the tournament organizers. They are the ones forcing the qualifiers on these bad conditions, not Nadal and Federer. So while I understand where he's coming from, Schnur's arguments are misguided. Do you agree with Braden calling out Fedal? Also, what do you think of the Riley for Relief charity event? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Grand Slam Tennis News Today.